All right, this is Breeze FX, a new cloud-based service from Breeze that allows you to send photos that have been captured at the photo booth in both DSLR Remote Pro and the iPad up, up to the cloud to be processed. Now we're launching with uh, an AI face swap and an AI image uh, prompt service, but we will be adding more things in the future, including some non-AI stuff, which I'm quite excited about as well. So if you have not already stumbled across this page, it is fx.breezesoftware.com and it is linked from the main Breeze website as well. Um, so you do need an account. Uh, you need to sign up for this service in order to use it. You don't need a credit card to get started. We will give you uh, 50 free credits to play with just to have a bit of a look and see how it works. So if you uh, don't have an account, you can just hit the sign up button. Uh, you just need to fill in your uh, business name, email, and a password and agree to that terms and conditions and you can create your account. Otherwise, if you've already done that, you can just go ahead and sign in. So I'll just give you a quick look uh, uh, at, at the basics of it and then in the next video, we'll actually go ahead and create an, a new FX configuration and I'll show you how that works. Uh, basically, we have our dashboard here which will show a graph of any activity over the past day, week, or month. Um, of your usage, um, including any failed jobs. Now, there's a number of reasons that jobs could fail, um, largely because of misconfiguration with the effects, especially when it comes to the um, image prompt service, which is a little bit more complicated. Uh, you'll also see down here the most recent um, images that have been processed. Uh, we do automatically delete images off the server after a period of time, and when that's happened, you will see a little trash can icon to let you know that that image is now gone from our server. FX configurations where you actually set up your uh, effects. So you'll hit the new the new config button and you'll select the, uh, the FX that you're wanting to do. So this at the moment AI or face swap um, and we'll go through that in the next video. Activity is just a more fleshed out version of the dashboard so it shows a lot more of the recent uh, activity. If you delete uh, an, an FX configuration completely, it'll also delete all the images so you'll see a little trash can icon like we have uh, here as well. Uh, credits is where you can buy credits, so we'll load you up with 50 credits to get started, uh, but you can add credits um, whenever you need to, so make sure if you're running a live event that you have enough credits to, to cover the event, so obviously 85 bucks for 1,000 credits is the best value. Currently, a face swap is two credits and a uh, image prompt is three credits, um, and we'll obviously keep an eye on that and see, uh, see if we can get those costs down. Uh, as, as time goes on, we can we can get improvements into the system. Um, if we just scroll down, there's also the settings uh, page here, which is important um, as it has your FX integration password. So you will need to have this to copy into Breeze uh, to secure um, the access to Breeze FX just to stop anyone else from using your, your account. So in the next video, we will run through actually setting some FX up and getting them into Breeze and taking some sample photos so you can see how it actually works. But getting up and running with your account itself is pretty straightforward. And I'm sure you could have done all that without having to watch this video, but people like videos. So there you go. Any questions, jump to the comments and let me know.